percentage of Catholics go to uh, the Mass on a regular basis, you think? 50? 29% in Massachusetts. How much? How many? 29%. 20. Under 30. That's the latest. Under 30 years old, less than 75%. So 25% of people yeah. under 30 go to Mass. 25% of the people under 30 go to Mass. That are Catholic. They are Catholic. Catholic. They call themselves Catholic. Catholic. Oh yes. Right? Mm -hmm. You think we have some work to do? <laughs> do we have work to do? <laughs> we have lots of work to do, right? In our own families. In our own families. Right? In our own, with our own friends. People that we know. People that are Catholic. Forget about the ones that are even Catholic. It's just the ones that are Catholic. We like have work to do. To bring them back. Well, bring them back. Really, to bring them to the Lord. Right? To bring them to Jesus because they need to be saved. I mean, they need to really find this intimate relationship with Christ. And why is that? Why do they need to come to have an intimate relationship with Christ? Why is that? Is it so we can fill the, the church? Is it because we can have more people up in the pews? No. That's not the reason. Please? You want to live healthy? You want to live in peace? You want to live in peace? Yeah. Live in peace? Yeah. Eternal life. All right. Yeah. See? Seek things of all. Eternal yes. life. Eternal life. Eternal life. Yeah. Oh, you, you are right on point. Yes. Because, because in the end we want them to be happy. Mm -hmm. Ultimately happy. Not just for a little while happy. For because some, some people have to be a little while happy, they probably have a couple glasses of wine. <laughs> oh, I'm happy, right? I'm happy. And you know, the next morning, eh, you know, I'm not so happy anymore. Right? So then I have to have a few more drinks or whatever. And oh, maybe I have to buy that beautiful Corvette, the beautiful car, right? Yeah. Yes. A beautiful Corvette with the top down on a summer day. I go for a ride and life is beautiful. And then the Corvette gets rusty. Empty. And then what happens? I have to get another one. And when that one goes, I have to get another one. And then I gotta get another one. Right? So yeah, this this the need for us to really tap, be evangelists uh, and, and, and preach the gospel is to really love the other one. Love the other person. Right? Why? Because we want them to be Happy? Happy yeah. You want them to be to have eternal life, right? So you want that you want that good. So you're you're loving the other. When you do that, you're loving the other person. But we have to do it in charity, right? We cannot just go we cannot be pushing. First communion. Go in peace. Go in peace. So um, but we have to do it in charity. We gotta be careful that we're not pushing, right? Go, go, push, 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 push. You gotta listen to me. You gotta listen to the Lord. You gotta, you know, you gotta do it in charity. You gotta, you gotta do it in love. Okay? And to do that, what do we have? And the only way to do that is to what? How can we do that? We gotta have, we gotta be in the, in the state of grace. We gotta have the Holy Spirit with us. Because it's not us. We are not doing it. We are not really doing it. God is doing that through us. If God is not in us, it's just me or you with our human powers trying to do something. And when we do something with our human powers, not very good. Right? And not very good. So we need grace. And through this grace, uh, the Lord speaks to the others through us. So we got 